strength did it. Hey. All right. Sir, let's shoot it. We're out here in the swamp today. We're going to shoot something else. We're going to tear something else up. We got the old refrigerator out the house today. We're going to take that thing. We're going to shoot it with a few different guns, different calibers, you know. We're going to start out with a few handguns and we're going to go on up and, you know, get on into a different type of gun this time today. Now, we're going to see if that refrigerator will stop a bullet and if you can hide on the other side of it and be safe. We're going to see what happens. Got this old refrigerator here, we drug it out, and I throw a few things up here in the uh, freezer here. We're going to aim mo mostly at the freezer because I got a couple things here to kind of stop the uh, bullet, see if it'll slow it down, you know, and maybe help you out because we know there's things in the freezer and in the refrigerator, you know, in the house. It's an old refrigerator, you know, I pick them back being out the house, boy, if it was in the house, boy, that's a nasty mess right there. I wouldn't have that. But anyhow, let's go on back over here and shoot it and see if that stuff in there helps slow it down. Before we start the video today, I want to say, I, I, I say I appreciate all my uh, subscribers and everything. And uh, Robbie Tanner, he there come out. He said he's a lifetime subscriber, so I'm gonna call him out on that thing. You better hold on to it now. Be a lifetime subscriber. Check out my video every time. Come on, you done said it now. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm gonna say there, Carolina Pawn Brokers, where I go buy a lot of my guns and stuff. This year, 22, one I bought. My daughter liked it. Got 16 inch barrel on that thing. It's a Heritage 22 revolver, single action. Yeah, you know, you got the safety on that thing, on that side and everything. You got to pull it back, pull the trigger, and, uh, or for it to fire. And, uh, it's just a fine little handgun. They had them on sale there for uh, $119 for the short barrel, like six-inch barrel. They got them on sale. I believe they still do. So if you want one, go and check Carolina Palm Brokers out in Clinton, North Carolina. Yeah, let's shoot it. Let's go check it out. I kind of shot a little high on it there. I know I got some stuff in here, but I know a 22 round isn't really a strong round. So I shot a little high to give it an advantage on that thing. We're going to open the door up here and see what it did. Well, for it to be a little weak round, it sure went. You can see right in there. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of dark in that thing. But it went all the way through. Looks like it hit this side here. Let's come over here to this side. I had shy baby there come around here. Well, sir, she drew me a fella wrong here. And old 22 was strong enough to go through it. Shot him right in the eye. <laughs> what kind of drawing is that, shy baby? That's funny. I said draw a person. She done draw me a stick person on that thing. Billy Bob. She done named him and everything. Don't you look at that business. <laughs> Ain't that something? Well, we know that 22 will go through the refrigerator without anything in it. That kind of ended the video. We still going to shoot it anyway. Let's go on back over here and we're going to shoot a little lower. Kind of shoot at some of the, I ain't told where some of the things are in the freezer there. See if that'll help slow it down some. I'm an M17 here. A SIG M17 P320. Kind of a desert tan bronze and a bronze slide on that thing. Something like that to the sort. I got it also at the Carolina Palm Brokers in Clinton, North Carolina. Now, I don't know if they have any more right now, but it's a fine gun. You can get it for about $700 is what I paid for it here back I'm not sure what the prices are now. You know, they've been going up lately. But uh, it's a nice gun. Go check them out over there. And uh, they got all kinds of nice guns. And, and they got ammo, plenty of ammo, targets. You know, I mean, just all kinds of stuff. Good people, man. Just go over there and see, uh, see them. And they'll hook you up what you need. And then some. Well, let's take this 9mm here. We just got some regular old full metal target round. What do you want to call them thing? And we're going to take it there and... Shoot it and see if it goes through all that stuff inside the freezer as well as the refrigerator itself. Excuse me there a minute, I forgot to put my yarn must on. That's the time. I got a little bit to the right that time. I'm going to try to. Let's see what I can do with this one. There, all right. Let's go there. Let's go there and check it out. You can see there where the 9mm hit right there, you know. It looks like it, excuse me, looks like it penetrated through. Well, 
it penetrated through right there. You can see it come in the inside wall, grazed her corn there. It looked like it was somebody done chewed a little bit of that. Went through the stewed beef, went through the ice cream. Hold on, yep, come out the other side. Missed the water jug, guys. Oh yeah, both of them come right on through. I'm gonna tell you, about a refrigerator just ain't gonna save you. You might better hope that they were shooting from outside. Maybe the wall will help a little bit. Let's go there and shoot it with something else. Got my 1911, my Taurus 1911-45 out here again today. We're going to try it out. It's a slower moving round. We're going to see if it'll slow, if, if that freezer will stop it. And uh, I don't know that it will. It don't seem like nothing going to, uh, that refrigerator ain't going to stop nothing. So I got some regular old target rounds in that thing. We're going to give it a round, see what it does. There we go. Man, that thing's kind of all over the place. I don't know if it's me or the gun. <laughs> Let's go down here and check it out, see what it done to it. Well, I was kind of off with my first and second shot there. I hit it here and here. And uh, I finally got it over here. I messed around and forgot I'd only put one, I believe, target round in that thing. I was just going to shoot it one time, but it was off. I didn't think about it. I had my holler points in that thing. Well, I just wasted two holler points, I believe. We'll find out. Let's see. Good night. We done killed the doggone water jug. It's blue water all in the freezer. Well, you see right here where I hit it with the target round first, it went and hit the door, come out the door there, and let's see where else I hit it, right there. Uh, looks like I hit it down here, went through the corn, tore the edge off the corn, not the end slap off that thing. Let's see if we hit a hand, uh, stew beef. We missed our stew beef there. Uh, uh, Looked like we hit our ice cream one time. Yeah. And then went through the water jug there. Let's stick that stew beef back where we can see it. Oh, nasty mess. Yeah, uh, there's the lead over here in the door. <laughs> All right. The first 45 went out through the door right here at the seal. It went kind of off to the edge. Looks like your second one hit here, come out, and your third one come out right here. Yep, that's it right there, right there. So, yeah, it didn't even stop it. That old that gum refrigerator, bro, it ain't worth 10 cents to hide behind. I'd recommend finding something else. I got my Super Comanche single shot, 410, 45 long coat with a 10 inch barrel. I got it out here today. It's a fine gun, I bought it some years ago. Uh, I got me a 45 long coat round. It's a regular old target round there. I don't know exactly what the grain is, but we're going to shoot it with it. I'm pretty sure it's going to go straight on through. Your 45 uh, auto usually about this long right here, and then you add that to it with your 45 long coat. Uh, let's go there and shoot this thing, if I can hit it where I want to. I ain't caught this gun in a long time with a 45 long coat. I generally use the 410 in it when I go, I go uh, uh, fishing. My wife, I told her when I bought this gun, I said, uh, that there is my snake gun. I had to buy that for fishing. She said, uh-huh. So let's see if I can hit it with this thing. We'll try it out. Man, I believe I hit that tree up yon somewhere. <laughs> let's go take a look at that thing. Still mess around with the 45 long coat. I hit a little high and to the left with that thing. Man, it made a fine hole, I tell you what. Looks like it went in, come out right there at the top, went back out over here at the top. I reckon that thing spiraled it up and it hit the tree over there. Come out here, it hit Billy Bob's name right there. Took the end slap off of it. That's a business. It peeled it pretty good. You see it had a little more force coming through than the regular 45 did. So I imagine that thing, uh, it does pretty good damage to it. Well, let's go try something else. Well, I told y'all I had something different today I was gonna bring out. I got this here old 
AK-47, my mind made by m and &M, got the quad rail on that thing, flip up sight, got the uh, such and such round magazine with it, the telescope butt stop, got some old toil uh, ammo in that thing. We're going to shoot it one time and see, uh, I already know what it's going to do. It's going to go right on through it, breathe through it like it ain't nothing. So, let's check it out. Look at that thing. Right, you can see there where I hit with the AK there, the 762 by 39. That thing went in, come through here, tore through your stew beam, knocked the end off your corner, knocked the lead slap off your ice cream bucket, tore that right on up, went out the other side. There's your ice cream lead right there in the door. Ain't that some business? <laughs> That's funny right there. All right, looked like that thing tumbled. It must have tumbled when it hit that ice cream bucket. Come slap out and tore Billy Bob's neck right on out. Oh, man. Tore his throat out. Well, let's go on over here. I got another one. I want to try another gun. I'm going to get out and let's do this thing. Got my 12 gauge pump right here. 500 AT. New Haven by Mossberg. We got some double lock button that thing. We're going to shoot it with that. And then we got a slug. We're going to see what happens. That old double lock button, let's go see what that thing does. Well, you can see it right here. That old double lock button. Throw them BBs off that thing. Oh, let's see. That, there's my 45 and all. That look like that might be some of the double lock button right in there. That's what it is. You see the BBs, it throwed pretty big BBs on that thing. It come through here, tore all through the top and through the refrigerator right there. Look like I missed all the rest of my mess there. We'll try to hit it with the slug. Man, it come out the back and poor old Billy Bob, he just had a bad day. It ruined him, boy. <laughs> uh, I'd say I wouldn't recommend it. We got that slug in that thing. We're going to see if I can hit all the rest of that mess. Try to anyhow. Let's go with it. Missed all of it. Ain't that some business? Let's go there and check that thing out. I hit with the old slug right there, but I stick my finger all the way in that thing. Good night. That big hole, man, like with the hot water heater. I seen a bunch of mess fly out in that thing whenever I shot. Let's see. Oh, yeah, man. That thing went up through the top of there. You can't half tell where it went through for some reason. There is all that dead gum. Insulation in that thing kind of sealed it up. That's supposed to hit. I know what it done. It went in here behind the uh, wall in here is what it done looks like. Yeah. That thing come out the other side here though. Good night. Yeah, because it sure didn't stop it. Man, it pipped that thing good. Uh -huh. Had to be careful loading that thing back up and holding it off. It's going to tear your hand up getting careful there. Man, I tell you what. Old 12 gauge slug, it don't play. It ain't nothing but old two and three quarter inch slug. <laughs> That thing don't play no games, buddy. Let's go on down here and we'll try something else out. Well, I decided I'm going to skip on past my 44 mag today. Ammo ain't real cheap on that thing. We're just going to go back and take this AK right here. And we're going to have some fun with that thing. We want to hit the ice cream and all that mess that time. Let's go check it out. Well, I don't know that it hit the ice cream and mess. I hit a few rounds right in here. Uh, I don't know that it did. I was kind of shooting a little lower down into the refrigerator part of that thing. Let's open it up and see what it done. Uh-oh. Well, look like I uh, <laughs> might have hit a couple rounds right here. Hit one right through there, looks like. And it knocked that back the door. A little old holder there for the shelf knocked it out. Man, I thought I'd do more damage. Look at there. What good night, boy. It hit that and went right on through there and just peeled that out, boy. 
Was that right? I don't know if that was like that a while ago or not. But anyway, it tore on through, knocked some holes through everything. Didn't tear them up too bad. They still water in the jug there. Good yeah, now, nah, ain't that some business? We're gonna do something else here and uh, see if we can just tear this mess up. We'll find out here in just a minute. Hold on. I didn't ever show you the back, did I? <laughs> Look at that thing right there. You see where they tumbled when they came through? Man, I tell you what, they start tumbling like that, that'll make a mess out of something right quick. All right, let's go on over here and shoot it again. Well, I got my sick cross back out here today. I picked this thing up at Carolina Palm Brokers here back. I was over there the other day, and uh, they got one in 6.5 Creedmoor. They still got it, I believe, I ain't sure. But uh, this one here is in 308. The barrels are uh, interchangeable. It's a multi-caliber lower. You can turn this into a 308, 6.5 Creedmoor, or a 277 Sig Fury. Right now, they got one, like I said, in 6.5 Creedmoor. If you're interested, go check Carolina Palm Brothers out in Clinton, North Carolina. Let's shoot this thing one more time. We're going to see what happens. check that thing out I'll tell you what i got a mess to clean up around here i want you to look at a couple little pieces of debris there off of the refrigerator door a couple little pieces here boy i got a mess i got to clean up i got to get up here right this mess up man i put a whole little old half a pound of tanner right right there in the door and had it cracked up a little bit i want you to look at the mess that thing boy look at that good night look at the mess that thing made man it blowed that corn all up in the side there toward the end off the stew b Bought toward the ice cream box all the pieces. Throw that old metal rail up in there off of that. Yeah. They still water laughing at that blasted jug there, though. We didn't completely knock it on out. Look how it warped that door up there. Or that off. Uh, the top of that refrigerator up. It just blew the top right up on that thing. Door's gone. It was right here. You see, it's pretty completely gone. Messed the hinge up on the lower door there. Look over here. There's your door. Part of it anyhow, hit the other part right there on the ground right there. Yep. Look at there, there's one of the doggone greats. I believe that was already there where I flipped it over earlier. I'm gonna get all that up though, make it look good. Well, that's one thing about it. We tested the refrigerator out to see if it'll protect you. If somebody's a shooting at you, the refrigerator will not protect you. I don't care what the movies say, they'll open the door on that refrigerator and hide behind that thing and act like they getting shot up and all. Boy, they don't know nothing over there. You shoot right on through that thing with a 22, man, much less anything else, larger. And uh, you put any antenna right to it, it's over with for sure. <laughs> well, y'all, come on here back to Well Sir, let's shoot it. Check us out. We're going to shoot some more videos and see if we can do something more interesting next time. And uh, have a good time. We appreciate our subscribers. Appreciate you checking us out. So go ahead there, like, subscribe, and hit the bell. That way it'll notify you when I make a new video. Y'all have a blessing. Lord, we'll we aggravate you later. Yeah, it hurt that door. Blew a big old welt in that thing. Yeah, it gnawed on that thing. Good night. Hey!